Hey, Glenn, sorry about that. Are you both on now? Hey, Glenn, I'm here. Yeah. You're here, too. Mike, you, you remember Mike, right, from uh, California? Yeah. He's, he, he uh, I think he's coming on, too. He, uh, Why? He, want, he wanted to ask you a question. Why? Um, I told him I had nothing to say to him anymore. He was too stubborn, and I didn't have time for him. You seem to have an ulterior motive that had nothing to do with him finding out reality, but for a special purpose known only to him. Uh, I'm sorry, you cut off for like two minutes. I didn't hear what you said. I said there was no purpose in speaking to Mike. Mm -hmm. All right, um, because he seemed interested. He wanted to. He he was. He always seems interested, but it's not for my interest. Uh, Okay. I have no interest in providing him with information that he obviously is handing over to others for some other reason. Uh, Well, you can tell him what he wanted. Hey? I said Jared can tell you what he wanted. What did he say? Well, he had, well, he had, like, he sent me a whole bunch of, like, a compilation of like your work and um what else uh I think he has in newspapers. I don't know if you if he bought I them. can't hardly hear you, George. Yeah, I think he sent me a compilation of like your of your work and he had like I guess copies of your newspaper. I d I don't know if you if he's ever bought them from you. And uh he wanted to know if he could uh publish them for other people to see. And I said, I don't know because you that you make it, that's an ink source of income. Oh, he has an ulterior motive. Oh. The cell was tracking him. I forget. Been a long time. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, he well he you know he's gonna hear hear this anyway, so he can hear from himself. I don't need to speak to him. Okay. So anyway, um, another news, Glenn. Everybody still believes in Santa Claus, man. What's going on? I'm trying to tell people that he doesn't exist. This guy, Santa Claus. Of course, he exists. His name is linked to Saint and Nancy. Uh huh. <laughs> Claus. So, um, doesn't clause include the letters uh, S A U, as in Sue Saint Marie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Saint Marie the queen of the earth? who genetically engineered all women into women? Mm. Isn't that the guy who dresses in red and white, just like the flag of Canada and Switzerland? Hmm. Now, why those colors, what, what do they mean again? The red and white? That's your blood, red cells and white cells. Oh, okay. Jack Red. Hmm. Switzerland is in charge of the cross, which basically means the end times crucifixion. Hmm. 
while Canada is in charge of genetic engineering, which is Leif Erikson, who is depicted as a maple leaf. And uh, leaf is what, in fact, captures sunlight and turns it into energy that creates life. And the judges in the courtrooms used to wear wigs, and that is linked to the twig. The twig is a piece of small piece of a branch that links the leaf, which captures sunlight, and delivers it to the peel of a fruit. So it's the in-between aspects of taking what the system gives and making a fruit out of it. That's why when you go to a Supreme Court, they don't automatically accept your case. They must in first place look at it and give you what? A leaf to a peel. <laughs> a leaf to a peel. <laughs> a peel. Also, the leaf has the word uh, Eve in it, a penultimate. It's all about genetic engineering being the context in which they deal, and they do not allow you to benefit from a court ruling that would hinder their program. And of course, nobody is being taught in school that if you had human beings on the planet for a hundred thousand years or more prior to the ice age, how can it be that those people hadn't figured out all of the things that we now know of through their own mind? But the problem that they were left with is there weren't enough people on the planet to serve as guinea pigs in their laboratory. So they had to increase and the therefore they had to go into hiding with all the information they had in their archives, which they did by going to the Moho discontinuity, and shut down everything that was a sign of their presence for a period of 16,000 years called the Ice Age. to 16,000 B.C., the ice grew on the planet from 16,000 to 8,000 B.C., the ice reduced on the planet. And at 7,000 B.C., global tepee, tepee, was given as the symbol of here is where we kickstart 
a new system. And over the next 8,000 years, we must, in fact, rebuild the activity on the planet, this time by genetically engineering task-oriented gene pools, and do that for 6,000 years. So 4,000 B.C. to 2,000 A.D., they completed the project after the Ice Age, 2,000 years after they considered it to be significantly returned to the same state they had before in 24,000 B.C. Now that they have completed the task of tweaking the DNA of women all the way to the point they are at now when career is their drug of choice, and by career, you don't only mean being in the public forum. It includes all uh, public control mechanisms such as politics, law, religion, etc. But it also includes ruling the household of rich men who, when they die, will leave their resources to the system controlled by women. Therefore, now that they have achieved that goal, it's time to remove the male from the planet and reinsert the male as a we man inside their own bodies. And look around and you'll see that males are being killed almost every day in every conceivable manner, which includes the killing of black males, uh, policemen, etc., etc., and those who are allowed to survive are now having to take pills in order to get an erection. No erection, no more babies. No more babies, no more men. And they do that through electromagnetism which causes what they call hydrocele. Hydrocele. Never heard that before. I'm not certain, but I believe the word sealy would be spelt, in this case, C-E-L-E. It's a, an end product of magnetizing the body with iron in your intake and magnetizing um, to the other pole the land you stand on so that the magnetic field draws upon the iron in your glands and scrambles them all up so that in the end, the normal intent of the operations of glands in the body are screwed up and it leads to depression, memory loss, Alzheimer's, heart attacks, strokes, 
and every other debilitating disease one can imagine. And instead of living to the grand old age of someone like uh, Sarai um, and having babies at the age of 100, or she was 90 when she had her baby, uh, and lived till 127 to be around till her child was almost 40. Instead of doing that, we were brought down to a life cycle of 25 years, then 40 years, then 60 years, now approaching 80, and it's time to shut us down because by the time we get to 80, we know too much. Mm. So the oldest would be the first to go then, right? Logically. The oldest are are basically dying of the effect of uh, electromagnetic fields in one way or another. The young die by suicide and murder. The soldiers die by uh, mental illness uh, uncontrolled upon their return from war. And if they live, they cause difficulties for the other people around them. Hmm. Gene pools are the basic product that a society who allows immigration to occur base their decision on. Not the needs of the population in the place they're going to immigrate to, but the needs of the controllers that have infiltrated all of the establishment operations, both from the top as politicians and corporate managers and from the bottom as clerks. The clerks operate under the title of Congregation of Clerks, and were set up in the 1500s. In in Europe or in England, England, in Great Britain. Okay. But that, so that, that was just right to before give them an was... English name. Mm -hmm. They had, in fact, operated before, and instead of clerks, it, the sound was Clark. Clark is linked to the Ark. So that goes back to 2900 B.C., before the building of the pyramids, about 400 years before the building of the pyramids. The pyramids basically giving a model of uh, three standing pyramids surrounding a lion-headed beast, the lions being the model of kings of the world. But if uh, you look at it closely, it's more a female lion with a beard uh, on the bottom of the head, but not much in the way uh, on top of the head. So, Lehman 
women with beards was the model for uh, Hapshitsit, who basically began the 18th dynasty. been sitting under the house uh, for a few months now, surrounded by the Catmobile, which is in fact spending time telling me what's really happening in the world, talking about the beginning of time when uh, Jennifer and I were genetically engineered as Denisovans and reminding us that uh, once we were made and it was discovered that they had, in fact, a quality control problem, we knew more than uh, manufactured people should know. They changed the uh, recipe for making the next Dennis Ovens. Dennis in an oven is known as Dennis the Menace. And a guy by the name of Dennis Rodman, who in his name Rodman has a rod, mm -hmm. took um, into his possession the past word that has a rod in it of the CEO administrator of uh, Sony and brought it as a birthday gift to the guy called Un or Won in North Korea which allowed them to enter into and break into every file that uh, Sony has. And as a reward for that, three men were liberated. without any links being made between one and the other. And automatically, the uh, leader of, of North Korea had pretended after his birthday to have need for an operation. In fact, what he did was go off to South Korea and then on to Japan and took out the payment for the things he was about to do. Took the money back to North Korea and now we see that hacking Sony was what he had been assigned to do. North Korean military arranged for his transportation and uh, the pretext had been uh, having a medical condition that needed repair. Uh, when uh, he was taken to Japan. He was told that this is how they wanted him to respond at the end. And in order to tell the people in, in the art community in the U.S. that this was all a fraud, they got George Clooney, whose name George includes Rigo, and uh, or 
large is the French word for barley, which means you've been transubstantiated, because barley is what is used in the genetic engineering formula for making a person drunk for life without any outside uh, evidence of that fact. You don't stumble, you don't um, mash up your words while you're speaking, um, you don't um, make ridiculous public statements, but in fact you are drunk and your your means of getting drunk uh, as opposed to alcohol and, and drugs, is career. People, especially women, are always getting drunk on career. Yep. So George Clooney informed everybody by... Um, preparing a letter for people to sign, which they then refused to sign, and he could say nobody wants to get involved with this North Korean thing. But he was, in fact, just telling them that the whole thing was rigged. It's quite possible that the White House will reimburse Sony uh, for all the damages after the U.S. retaliation is completed. But everybody on that whole operation have been in on it. Sony in uh, the U.S. may be the only one who didn't know. Their headquarters in Japan obviously knew. got to remember, the English language has a letter Y. The Japanese alphabet does not. You only get letters Y in words that are made up for the purpose of being read by the English. The word Sony without the um, the Y is son, and a son of God is a lion. French lion. And it's the mane of a male that extends both from the bottom beard up to the top of the head, which you don't see on the lion, which is uh, along, along with the pyramids, the symbol of the task at hand. Lions Club. are the rays of the sun. Rays. A ray always has a significance when you talk about the gray nuns. And Raymond... The female lion that runs the world. The wee man returned home in preparation for space travel.
The cats know it all. They've been around since the 18th dynasty. They sat by and listened in on all conversations. Mm. Contrary to dogs, whose mental state allows them simply to take snapshots, cats take in the whole thing because they have access to the entire spectrum of light. Mm. They see things in ultraviolet, which we cannot see. But ultraviolet shows the path. If a cat goes and pees in a corner and it evaporates and dries up, you can't see it. But a cat that walks into the room can see exactly where the last pee was and all the peas before it because they exude ultraviolet light. It's pee everywhere. <laughs> that's 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 really is uh that's that's fascinating. Interesting. Dennis Rodman re go George Clooney. It mm. all has to do with a rod. Aaron's rod, when Moses asked his brother to throw it on the ground, it wiggled around like a snake. The only thing that can do that is electricity. Therefore, the story is basically symbolic. Snake is another way of saying lightning, electricity, magnetism. So that's what they use. They just, like, I, I guess it's not limited to celebrities, but they use people as, like, uh, spies or couriers or whatever and, and and these like 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 what you described with Dennis Rodman from underground 24,000 BC to today is 26,000 years they built a transportation network underground which looks like the dome built for the World's Fair in Montreal by the U.S. as their pavilion. It is a tunnel system with uh, links at five different points when you put triangles together. And it covers the entire planet. In 26,000 years, if you have one machine that can dig a tunnel, as they have today, Germany, um, run by nuclear power and operating at five miles an hour, you cover the entire surface of the earth below ground and therefore have access to every place. You know where the minerals are, you know where the oil is, you know where the um, electromagnetism is the strongest. You know how to activate an electromagnet 
because volcanoes use the same principle to blow up the top of a mountain or the side of a mountain, that it's basically by having quartz uh, within a stone structure, a stone rock, which is mostly iron. And when you heat it up, it explodes because the quartz expands faster than the iron. Therefore, you can make explosions occur that will knock the top off a mountain, or as with Mount St. Helens recently, the side of the mountain. So you know where all that material is located. You know by the color of the rock that has white and pink as the basic colors, white and red, just like the body has red and white blood cells. You know that those rocks if activated in a certain manner using heat from underground will blow up. And therefore, you look for the iron mines around the world and you'll know where that material exists. Brian Mulroney used to be the president of uh, Iron Ore of Canada. He knew where the iron mines were. He became the prime minister of Canada, even though he was just a small-time lawyer for all other reasons. And he began to travel all around the world and especially to China. Just like the Prime Minister before him, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, whose father owned an oil company called Champlain Oil, was raised in China. So they know where the oil is. They know where the magnetism is due to the iron mines. They can light fires in oil that will cause iron rocks to explode. They can do it with gas propane gas, which is basically the residue of the things that lived and died turn into gas and use that for an explosion. The largest single deposit identified by the fact it has the largest pink red colored rock on earth sits directly below the northern peninsula of Michigan. Hmm. Therefore, when it explodes, will completely vaporize as they did with 9-11 the foundation of the peninsula. And that happens 1,200 feet deep of water by 300 feet wide by 500 feet long will splash down onto the lower peninsula of Michigan. There goes Chicago and Detroit. 
Cleveland and Toledo and Buffalo and Rochester. All the way on land over New York, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, works its way to a place where the United Nations was created in a meadow called Flushing. Dana, how far is the fresh meadow from Flushing? From where? Flushing. It's Flushing thinking. from where? Fresh Meadow. There's a meadow called Fresh Meadow. In right next to it. Oh, right next to it. Okay. Oh, right next to Flushing. Yeah, we're still Flushing. The guy who lives in New York. Yeah. yeah. I just live in the archives. <laughs> And yet you tried to tell people, but because they were programmed and that program was tweaked slowly over a 200-year period and nobody saw the beginning and the end, they don't want to know. They don't want to hear. They simply want to believe what CNN and the lone wolf blitzer will tell them. There used to be two wolves at CNN. One was his surname and he was giving weather. Now there's only one lone wolf. Oh, that's the uh, that's the that's the story, man. That's it's interesting how you said just because they don't know what happened in the beginning or the end, so they're like in the middle. I'm just floating around. Yep. You don't know the floating around. That's why 200 years is used for genetic engineering slowly. Everybody is dead who saw the beginning. By the time the end arrives, Everybody thinks it's just normal that the human body is now susceptible to being shut down at about 80 years of age. Abraham outlived his wife by a long time into the hundreds of years. His son, Methuselah, outlived everybody to 900 and some years. Could be 963 if one believes in the code being exact. But if you lived to be 900 years, you'd know what was going on. You would have seen the beginning and the end. Can't have that happen. Hmm. Do you think anybody so, before has that's ever... That's your lesson of the day. Take that with you. I'm going to 
let it sink in. Yeah. The uh, cats uh, are basically being called the temple cats. And of course, I've told you before, the cells said the purpose of this farm is to recreate what would be the third promised land. The first one being Israel, the second one being in Africa when the uh, Ark of the Covenant was moved out of Solomon's temple um, and brought uh, to Africa. And the third one is in Canada, not on Oak Island, as many people from Michigan would have you believe, but here at Ryan's Well. Ryan's Well was the name of uh, a location in Australia where um, people who first imported cattle uh, for Australian use would travel through on their way to their final grazing grounds and, and be watered on that site. Modern Ryan's Well is a group of people from around the world who raise funds for um, uh, pumps, manual pumps that don't require any electricity uh, to be sent to Africa and, and create water ponds of fresh water for the people of Africa. The real Ryan's Well is basically a sign of refreshment to be um, born again as you would, would when you arrive at an oasis dragging your butt through the desert, and all of a sudden you find the place of refreshment. That's why they want the uh, temple to be built on this site, because underneath us is access a long way down to the Moho discontinuity. The upper mantle of the earth is approximately 3,900 miles underground from any place on earth. Different, of course, if you're standing on a mountain as opposed to the lowest places on the planet, but the average is about 3,900 miles. The core of the Earth is 6,400 miles. And you can imagine, although it's not really that, but you can imagine the singularity at the center, 6,400 miles underground, would be like a, a big diamond from which everything else exists. And that diamond basically creates uh, magnetic fields. The magnet can be helpful to you if you know and use it properly for lifting heavy equipment and stuff like that. But in the end, it's used by people who want to control 
it's used to kill you by remote control. That is the symbolism of the first religion called voodoo. Kill by remote control or maim by remote control or depress by remote control. This this religion of voodoo, is it used by both sides? Like, because uh, you know how they have two divisions in Ecclesiastes. Well, they have more than two divisions uh, emanating from the central spot that has two divisions, the uh, female and male, Neanderthaler and... Um, that river in South America? Amazon? Amazons. But above ground, you have basically five groups and six factions, I believe. So a faction is a breakaway group, breakaway from a group such as the Vatican, as Roman Catholicism, as the group. But the factions would be the Protestants who broke away from Rome. And yet, at the same time, the Vatican is a breakaway group from Eastern Orthodox. So you, you can never point the finger and say of any group, they're in charge. No. They are part of a conspiratorial congregation of groups and factions. And together, they make things happen. At the end, of course, the two groups that occupy space in the moral discontinuity Amazons and, and Neanderthalers can dispense with everybody else. And without their consent at the center being the higher power or the second power, they themselves can be dispensed by the highest power, which is matter that created this original singularity that, when expanded, created this universe, of which this solar system and this planet are only replicas of the bigger as above, so below. So, like this religion that seems to be pretty much dominant everything, voodoo, is not necessarily always called voodoo, right? They can have numerous names. They have they more names than <laughs> I could remember <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> yeah. It's only to confuse. Exactly. That's why they created different languages. If everybody spoke the same language, why would you create different languages and confuse everything? Unless there are some secrets you wanted to share with one group but not another. Because... It's better that your enemy be divided and fighting between each other than fighting against the leadership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of languages, 
hundreds of cultures, say thousands, uh, they have one thing in common. They're a gene pool with a specialized task orientation, but they're not all the same because you still need garbage pickers at one end and nuclear scientists at the other end and everybody in between, but they have a common denomination that they follow, which we designate as countries. Subdivided into cities, States, cities, neighborhoods, the whole thing was put in play, although it had been done before the Ice Age with a much smaller population. The whole thing was put in place to create uh, seven billion people on the planet living at one time. So in order to reach there, you had to create seven billion people over time. And once you arrive at seven billion on the planet, seven billion have lived and died, leaving seven billion on the planet. So the place between seven billion and eight billion is where they wanted to go, and they're there. Yeah. And the U.S. was given the right to have more knowledge by moving the German scientists into the U.S. and the uh, Japanese chemists into the U.S., and together they built um, a space program one which is the vehicle that takes you there, and the other one is the power supply that lifts you off the Earth and out of the solar system. Uh, they operate as a team. Uh, they've now exited the uh, solar system, which completes their task and they are studying by landing on a comet how they will do that in the Oort cloud. That was done last month. Yeah. Now they're sending people to Mars, revisiting the moon so that uh, they get to understand when they bring things back from the Oort cloud, where should it go to guarantee that it won't infest Earth? So by bringing it to Mars and putting it in storage in Mars, they can see what happens there. And if it doesn't cause a problem and it would be valuable on Earth, then it's taken to the moon and, again, put in quarantine at the moon level before it's brought to Earth. While the rest of the stuff that might be of use but would be of endangered Earth would remain back on Mars. There midway garage type of thing, storage factory. The cats know all of this. And, and when you receive a uh, communication from the network of cats, how would you describe that... Um, that meaning? How would you be able you to You would grasp? have to say that it is a technology 
unknown to modern humans. Okay. Modern humans use light and waves of sound and that kind of stuff. Uh, theirs is different. I have no means of uh, identifying exactly what they're doing except to say it's different. Common denominator appears to be magnetism and water as the mode of transmission. I don't know, and I'm, I'm not a physicist, so I don't know the even the possibilities of something totally unknown, you know, certainly not in the infrared to ultraviolet range or Doppler effect or anything like that with sound. A uh, process of immediate transfer. It has nothing to do with speed. Oh. It's a little bit like Jonathan Livingston Seagull was trying to find perfect speed. And his teacher, one stage, stops him and says, Jonathan, perfect speed is not going faster than you did before. Perfect speed, my son, he says, is being there. So you stop being in one place and you start being in another in the same moment. But does that mean there's nobody left behind? I don't think so. You can just be in more than one place at the same time. That's why you don't have to worry about, you know, how do you get through things? If we had, you know, the financing and we could do the work that needs to be done here, we would have those answers because I know enough to know the difference. I don't know what it is, but I'd have to have the Ark of the Covenant in front of me, the menorah, the Holy Grail, and with that kind of environment put together, I would have the answers. All they keep doing is stealing from me. Taken away. Right now, there is a um, talk going on between the cell and, from what I gather, the name you would put on them is Six Women Religious, who are based in uh, law, teachers of law, and um, they would offer their services to run the multi-billion dollar lawsuits 
against Hydro, against uh, Bell Canada, against the insurance industry, against the police industry, um, against the Ford Foundation, all of those different lawsuits to raise the funds to build this property. And what they've asked of the cell is to tell the physical owners of the deed to return the deed as promised to CIPI so that when the work begins, it's for CIPI, not for people who happen to have temporarily the deed to the land which in an arrangement with me, they both promised to return at the appropriate time. This is the appropriate time. So you need them to transfer the data? Okay. You need them to transfer the deed to you alone? Yeah, and, and transfer the property to uh, me in, and Jennifer in trust for CIPI. Because you need an individual who does the speaking for the institute. I'm just waiting for return phone calls. It's, just, it's kind of a similar situation like when there's a divorce and, you know, husband or wife, they want the other one off the deed. Yeah. And usually get, they get a quick claim deed and that transfers ownership. So they just need to do right something now, like that. Even a one-page letter from each would be place to start. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You're not dealing with an easy personality when you're dealing with Lynn. Right. Apparently she's going through a divorce right now with David. Oh, really? Yeah. In any event, I got things I have to do here. We've been on the phone for an hour. Yeah, so All right. Unless you have something to ask that I have the answer, I'm going to have to go. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, Danny, I closed the account at the feed store. Oh, you did? Because they were stealing from us. What? Oh. They were receiving payment, but not applying it uh, totally. And I'm not talking just uh, your payment. I'm talking about when I went to pay the bill, they would take the money, but not apply it through the cash register to record it, and then began to tell me I hadn't paid the bill, which, if you know me, every month on the day my pension came in, I was there and paid whatever balance there was. If somebody had donated something, it would be deducted, and then the balance I would pay. Right. But... They began to steal. It all began when, at the time, her boyfriend showed up in the place. So I closed the account. 
now on my feed, just in whatever place I can. That sucks. Actually, it's weird because something told me not to call them in the past few weeks because usually I try to call in the beginning of the month, yeah. right? And something told me not to. I didn't call them this month. Well, you're, <laughs> you're uh, tied in mentally. <laughs> <laughs> That's really a shame. <laughs> yeah, because it was convenient for that purpose. And they don't want us to have any conveniency. Yeah, right. Oh, 